What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Fresh Friend Sports, and today we're going to be doing a prospect breakdown slash scout report on Jarrett Patterson. If you're new here, check out the channel. We have over 60 different prospect breakdowns, as well as several round mock drafts coming out soon and positional records that are already out. Without further ado, let's get into this one. He's 6'4", 307 pounds, senior uh, interior offensive lineman from Notre Dame. Awards from he's a three-time Remington watch list and was a 2023 senior bowl selection. Strengths from Patterson is a tough player that dominates with intangibles. Patterson's a four-year captain that leads with great technique. He plays with good pad level at 6'4", with great hand timing placement. He focusing on his great positioning instead of just having a strong punch. He has elite IQ instincts, identifying rushers as a, f and has a pretty great feel of stunts, always being a step ahead. He plays with great toughness to work to finish blocks and take defenders out of the play. Patterson is also physical and plays through the whistle. Uh, he's also versatile, you know, coming in as an offensive tackle. He moved to center and now playing guard. Played well at all three. Cons from though, Patterson lacks some serious length in the passing game. Patterson also doesn't have great mobility. And he's not pretty great in space or, you know, facing moving defenders. He lacks, you know, the foot quickness to make blocks resulting in him on the ground many times. Pro comparison, I'm going to have to go with Chase Rowler. Same size, versatile, intangible lineman with great toughness. The small length Patterson has and high motor reminds me most of Rowler. Rowler is a six rounder. You know, he only had 19 reps at the combine and ran a 5-5. 554 combine with only 32 inch arms uh, that you know that pretty much didn't let him see, team see his full potential um, he overall was a big steal you can see he dominated at the next level but man he had one of the worst combines I've ever seen uh, from an interior lineman um, so Patterson's definitely gonna have to show out the combine if he wants to be able to be drafted a little higher but overall the intangible got Rowler to have a great career so I can see the same with Patterson have to go with the Bills. Bills like versatile, smart linemen like Patterson. Mitch Morris needs replacing. Roger Saffield is a free agent, and Ryan Bates will need competition from a poor season that he's had. Uh, many linemen will be drafted to fill needs for the interior for them, so he won't definitely be the only interior drafted. But Patterson can come in and compete early to start. Draft projection, I'm going to have to go a third or fourth rounder. He's a complete player and ready to start, but he lacks, you know, top level traits to be a top interior offensive lineman in the class as of right now. If he has a bad combine like Rowler, he could be, you know, out of a day two pick and possibly a late day three even. Uh, right now, he's my fifth interior offensive lineman, but there's been a lot of guys that's come up. Um, recently so we'll have to see where that goes overall I like him at center but you know what I'm saying teams are gonna like to see his versatility and we'll use that as a way to draft him um, but I think you know he's one of the only guys that I've seen in this class that really just relates on its intangible traits to dominate I want to see how far it takes him at the next level if he's able to compete or if those physical traits and athletic traits that he you know severely lacked will be the death of him if that's all thank you guys for watching check out the channel for a lot more content comment down below videos you might want to see if that's all thank you guys for watching and peace